If you've ever wanted to make over a dresser and give it that boho vibe without spending a lot of cash, but didn't know where to start, then this tutorial is for you. I'm gonna show you exactly step-by-step step how to get this look from a cheap $50 dresser. I started with this $50 dresser that I found on the Nextdoor app. That's a really great place to look for deals and there isn't as much competition as the Facebook Marketplace. I'm going to be sanding with an 80 grit sandpaper to start and then I'll do about a 150 and then a 220. I just kind of work my way up with whatever sandpaper I have on hand. You can also use an orbital sander um, that will speed up the process but I love to show you guys you can do it by hand and it doesn't take that long. There it is about halfway finished. That beautiful wood. I'm going to be bleaching it with an outdoor bleach, but you can use just regular bleach as well. You'll notice that the outdoor bleach is thicker in consistency right away, and so it is stronger and works a little bit faster, which is why I've switched over to using it. I've done some bleaching tutorials in the past, but I've um, just started using the outdoor bleach and I really like it. I wait for it to completely dry, and then I'm gonna do half water and half white distilled vinegar and we're going to be using this to neutralize the bleach. Now, you have to make sure and wait. The, the bleach has to be completely dry on your dresser. See how it's bone dry? And then apply the vinegar mixture. You don't want to mix bleach and vinegar. That's a big no-no for fumes and stuff. So make sure that it is dry and then you can apply the vinegar. And that will keep the bleach from eating at the wood and just make sure and, you know, that your wood stays nice and strong and doesn't deteriorate but it looks great I'm just using Waverly I found this at Walmart it's the color ink their chalk paint which adheres to anything without a primer it is a pretty good paint nice and thick I've used just about every chalk paint on the market <laughs> but um, you know they all kind of have pros and cons and um, that but they all essentially do the same thing so you really can't go wrong with any chalk paint. The reason I use chalk paint on 9 out of 10 furniture projects that I do is because you don't need a primer. It adheres really well to most any surface, especially wood. And so that cuts down on my time spent on a project. And I really appreciate that these days. But yeah, it's a, it's a great product. Now, you will need to seal it with either um, wax or you could do a polyacrylic or a polyurethane. Um, I'm not going to have time to demonstrate that in this video because I did the bleaching and everything, but I will link some of my favorite um, clear top coats for you guys in, in the description. One of them is um, General Finishes Flat Out Flat. That's a great top coat. And... I've had good luck with the top coats at Lowe's and um, Home Depot as well, though I will say if you use a top coat on the bleached wood on the top, it will darken it up a little bit, yellow it up a little bit, I should say. Um, so it changes the color slightly, you know. So it's something to keep in mind. In this particular project, I'm not going to be sealing the top of the dresser because it's not going to have drinks or food or anything on it it's going to um, you know it's not going to a high traffic area but I will use wax and seal the entire base of the dresser and I'll link the wax that I use um, but it's just a dark wax that I'll be using sometimes when you're using chalk paint and dark colors and you go to put your clear coat on if your clear coat, if you move the brush around too much, you'll actually get kind of a, a splotchy finish. So that is why a lot of people will use wax on chalk painted finishes, especially on dark chalk painted finishes. That's something I had to learn the hard way. <laughs> so here it was before. And here is the after. I couldn't be happier it's so fun that cool boho trendy vibe i just love it i think it's really beautiful i appreciate you guys watching the video today and i hope that you'll like and subscribe i also wanted to mention that i'm going to be adding some new content 
I'm going to be doing some room makeovers and adding some design elements to this YouTube channel that I'm super excited about. And so if you guys don't mind leaving a comment below and let me know what you guys think about that and maybe an idea of what some videos you would love to see in the future would be. Thanks for watching. Bye.